So in this video, we're proving that functions are one-to-one. -one. And a function f of x, by definition, is going to be one-to-one, -one, given that whenever f of x equals f of y, x equals y. So what we want to do is we want to prove that the following functions are one-to-one. -one. And if they're not one-to-one, -one, then explain why they're not. And whenever we do our proof, we want to first start off assuming that f of x is equaling f of y. Now for this one, I have f of x is equal to x squared. So we're going to start off with our proof. So we're going to assume that f of x equals f of y. f of x equals f of y. So what that means is I can replace f of x with x squared. When I do that, I get x squared is equal to f of y, which is just replacing the variable x with the variable y. Instead of x squared, you're going to get y squared. So now I have x squared is equal to y squared. I want to show that x equals y to finish off the proof. So to get rid of that exponent of 2 right here, I need to take the square root of both sides. But when I do that, something strange happens. And I'll show you what happens in a second. So when you take the square root of both sides, you know that you can take the square root of something that's squared and get a plus or minus answer. So even if you may get x right here, you can get plus or minus y, and this would be plus or minus x. So in the end, x really doesn't equal y, and that's because this function is not one-to-one, -one. not one-to-one. -one. So remember what injective means. When a function is injective or one-to-one, -one, each output only has one input. So let me write that down. Each output, each output has only one input. So we're going to use this function and consider the output 4. We know that if we square 2, we'll get to 4. So we can square this 2 and get to 4. But we also know that if we square negative 2, we'll also get to positive 4. Because a negative times a negative will give me a positive number. Well, this 4 is the output. The 4 is the output, but the positive 2 and the negative 2 are going to be my inputs. So because an output has more than one input, this function cannot be 1 to 1. So f of x equals x squared is one of the functions that we can't consider to be 1 to 1. And I hope that helps.